IGA Swiatek dropped to her knees and clutched at her midsection after getting hit by a ball in the Paris Olympics quarterfinals Wednesday, but it was her opponent, Danielle Collins, who stopped playing in the third set because of an injured stomach muscle she said was caused by cramping and dehydration from a lack of cold water available during a previous match. When they spoke afterward, Collins gave Swiatek an earful, telling her, she didn't have to be insincere about my injury, according to Collins. There's a lot that happens on camera. And there are a lot of people with a ton of charisma. Who are one way on camera and another way in the locker room, said Collins, a 30-year-old American who has announced she will retire after this season. I don't need the fakeness. Swiatek, a five-time Grand Slam champion who is the top-seeded woman at the Summer Games, was leading 6-2, 1-6, 4-1 when Collins retired from the match after taking a medical timeout. Then getting another visit from a trainer in the third set. Collins, the runner-up at the 2022 Australian Open, said she went into convulsions after competing in heat that reached 97 degrees Fahrenheit 36 Celsius on Tuesday. She blamed Olympic organizers for not having insulated water bottles, for the water not being cool enough and for not prioritizing the health of the athletes. Nearly collapsed when I came off court. And I was on a medical table for three hours, on Tuesday, Collins said. It did a number on my body. When you have full body cramps from your toes to your neck, and when you've suffered heatstroke. It's very, very difficult to come out here. In the opening game of the final set, with Collins serving at deuce, she directed a backhand down the middle of the court. Swiatek was up at the net and was unable to get out of the way of the shot. Swiatek looked stunned as she let go of her white racket and dropped down on the red clay at court Suzanne Lenglen. Collins, who asked, IGA, are you okay? Walked around the net to check on Swiatek. And chair umpire Damien Dumasois climbed out of his perch to see how the world's number one player was, too. Krejcikova was seeded ninth in Paris and has fared well on the clay courts at Roland Garros, winning the 2021 French Open singles and doubles trophies. But with the heat at 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 Celsius and the air thick with humidity, Krejcikova looked listless down the stretch against Shmidlova, a 29-year-old who is ranked 67th and has one fourth-round appearance at a slam. That came last year at Roland Garros. By the end, Krejcikova appeared spent and was barely moving. She slapped a forehand into the net to finish the match, and Shmidlova raised both arms overhead. In men's action, 24-time Grand Slam champion Novak Djokovic defeated Dominic Kofor of Germany 7-5. 6-3 to get to the Olympics quarterfinals for the fourth time. Djokovic won a bronze at the 2008 Beijing Games but never has won a gold. Djokovic now meets Stefanos Tsitsipas of Greece in a rematch of the 2021 French Open final. Tsitsipas took the first two sets that day before Djokovic came back to win in five. Olympic tennis uses a best-of-three set format for all matches. In other men's results, Carlos Alcaraz of Spain got past Roman Safiolin of Russia 6-4. 6-2 before going out and losing in the doubles quarterfinals with Rafael Nadal, Tokyo Olympics gold medalist Alexander Zverev beat Alexei Popperin 7-5, 6-3, Felix Augureliasim of Canada beat Daniil Medvedev of Russia 6-3. 7-6-5, Tommy Paul of the US was a 7-6-6, 6-3 winner against Corentin Moutet of France, the last tennis player from the host country in any Olympic event and Taylor Fritz of the U.S. got knocked out of singles by Lorenzo Musetti of Italy 6-4, 7-5. Underscore underscore underscore.